Hey, welcome back to the 44th episode of The Rep Reports. We're going to talk about how Chris Hansen has sold the Anision story. I, I don't know how that happens. Gabby Hanna is saying that YouTube is shadow banning her. And a little bit about Mika Schofer. So Stoffer, Stoffer, Stoffer. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Before we get into today's video, I do want to say this is the new merch, and it kind of feels weird that I'm wearing a shirt that's got my own face on it. But this is pretty. This is like the best piece of merch that I've ever had, and man, it is really cool. So the idea is you you get to color this in with fabric markers and just kind of like make it your own. But I really like it. Um, also check out this mug that I got for my birthday. Also in the news, I just found out that Chris Hansen has sold the Anision story. And after looking into this, I realized that there were way more questions than there were answers. Mail Magazine has, uh, published an interview and this interview was done by C. Brian Smith. And within this interview, uh, there are several things to do with his, his personal and financial struggles. Some things that you're going to want to check out. But the main thing that stood out to me was some say it's more important to be on YouTube than television, Hanson tells me. Envisioning his new development model to be incubating stories on YouTube before bringing them to television. So far, so good in that regard. Investigation Discovery has bought the rights to the Anision story. Now, my first thoughts on this was how does someone sell a story like this when it's survivor interviews? And a lot of creators had also been covering this for years and uh, Repzion himself being one of the first people to help him with this story and gave a lot of trust to some of the survivors to even be on his show. So. It made me wonder, did the survivors themselves know about this going forward? How transparent was this initially? I found out that this was not transparent. I've talked to a few survivors who have been helping Hanson with other interviews uh, behind the scenes, and it turns out that they are not happy about this. And in fact, for this to be a thing, it would require all of them to retell their stories again. I'm told that the majority of all the survivors previously interviewed by Hanson want nothing to do with this. It's one thing to open up your platform and do monetized videos. I, I'm okay with that. You got to get paid for the work that you're putting in. But it's another thing to take something and package it and commercialize it when it's survivors telling their stories and then sell it like you own it. Especially for the majority part, the community who had been working together on this for years and creators have been covering this for years and to find out that this was always the plan, not a good look in the community's eyes. YouTuber Repzion has released a video that is highlighting some important key points about this entire situation. Hansen sold the rights to the quote-unquote Onision story. What story, man? Honestly, realistically, what story is there to sell about Onision that already hasn't been covered through lots of other creators? The real only legality of a crime that Onision has committed was the destruction of wetlands. Don't ask me how that video got 2 million views, I don't know. And I've said throughout the years, Onision has the reputation of always doing things right on the legal line. Thus, if he's doing things right on the legal line at the very, very tip of the edge, he's not actually committing a physical crime legally that can be prosecuted if that's how he operates like he can do all horrible things he can uh, bring people into his house that shouldn't be living with him he can tiptoe around everything on the legal aspect and if he crosses all of his t's then technically nothing's going to happen on a criminal level with him so what exactly is this story secondly why is it quote unquote your story to tell i don't claim to be the person who owns a story about covering Onision. Discovery shouldn't be claiming to have the story about Onision. You shouldn't be claiming to have the story of Onision. All you've been doing, Chris, is regurgitating every single thing that other creators have done and put out on the internet with this high tier supposed expose of new information. There's nothing new. You've done nothing new about any of this. You've repeated and regurgitated the same stuff everyone else already has and you're trying to pass it on as your own. Nobody should be owning the rights to the Onision story. It, that, that's just, it's, that's insulting, not only to the creators, but about the people that he's actually harmed and hurt throughout that process. That's even more insulting. Like, what, what, is this what is this show going to be? 
some sort of dramatization? Is D Discovery gonna hire some person who looks like me? A skinny white boy with emo hair? Are they gonna hire an actor to replicate Onision? Like, this raises a ton of questions and really, 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 for me, showcases what Chris's intent was covering Onision to begin with, which is to create some imaginary show on a story on a YouTube creator who a lot of people don't like, sell it, and make money from it. And look, at the end of the day, I don't care if people make money on this platform, but if you're going towards it in a way to intentionally exploit people, creators, when you can't actually do any of the work yourself, I think that's a scummy thing to do. I'm gonna put the full video in the description below. I highly suggest that you watch it. He actually reached out to the person who wrote the uh, interview, did the interview with Chris Hansen. It's got some really insightful things and I think you're gonna to wanna to see it. I've also gotten word that he plans to do the same thing with the Davi Vanity investigation. And I can tell you, um, that none of the survivors to do with that want anything to do with it because these stories are real to them and traumatizing. They don't want to retell their stories. This should have been a thing that was put out on a platform to raise awareness towards something, um, not something that should have been packaged and, and sold in this way with the context giving that there was no transparency to begin with, no asking, no, no insinuation in, would have any of them even agreed if the transparency was there in the first place? Probably not. Um, leaves a bad taste in my mouth and I really can't imagine to get them to go through this again. A lot of these uh, survivors do not want this type of attention and I don't like it. I don't like it, but I wanna know what you guys think. I wanna know what you guys think. Let me know how you feel about this. I will be listening. I'll be reading the comments. YouTuber Def Noodles tweeted, Gabby Hanna comes after Nicki Minaj stands after one of them claims that Gabby starts drama in her response. Gabby attacks the stan account as well as drama channels blaming them for starting drama. Who started the drama? And is Gabby ending or extending the drama? Gabby does not start drama. I... How could Gabby start drama? She says, actually, I don't get into drama. Uh, people constantly pull me into drama and make stuff up. I can't help uh, people using me for their titles and thumbnails. Go to my channel, go to my tweets. Where do I literally ever start drama? So blanking tired of being punished for what people do to me. Now, there's been many things that Gabby Hanna has done that is worth criticism. I've covered a couple of those things that, to do with the Jesse Smiles uh, stuff. Uh, for her to say this, it does seem a little bit not right. Especially after I just covered a video, uh, I believe it was Friday, where somebody was making up lies about her and trying to get uh, drama channels to cover a fake story. Um, so this is coming off very disingenuous uh, to me. And then she goes on to say that, Hey YouTube, stop with gaslighting, stop with the shadow ban, stop hiding my content, but promoting everyone, spreading lies, gossip, and slander. Stop burying your creators who have been loyal from the start. And then uh, she's basically saying that YouTube is suppressing her content and only promoting videos that criticize her. Now she assumes that she's being shadow banned because if you put hashtag Gabby Hanna as a tag, it does not show up. And I can verify this because in my last video, Gabby Hanna false story and gross behavior, you'll see only the social commentary tag. But if you go to the uh, show more and you go to the bottom, it says hashtag Gabby Hanna. It does not show up. I do not know why. It does look like a shadow ban, but I don't, I don't know if, they're shadow banning her content so because i i do know if you do put in gabby hannah you do get a lot of uh, videos criticizing her but another creator pointed out that angelica oils 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 hey oils i'm so sorry angelica for mispronouncing that i opened a private tab and here are the results mainly gabby's videos maybe she's the only one seeing drama videos on herself because those are the only ones she clicks on the algorithm recommends things that you watch a lot of and I, you know i had a, a, a conversation with a uh, youtube on the back end and they did say that it's going to be algorithm based and that's just probably the potentiality if i was gabby i would probably not watch videos um criticizing me because number one most the majority of the stuff is going to be not true false and it's just people trying to get clicks and views and it's just going to make your mental health not good 
don't don't do that. That's my advice about that. But she goes on saying weird because all top search results attached to my name aside from one are my songs, poetry, story time videos. Yeah, all the recommended videos when you search my name are slander, hate, drama. Make it make sense. I have six years of content videos with tens of millions of views. Music videos, a podcast, viral vines, countless collabs and interviews on other channels but when you watch me or search me one of the top recommended videos is a month old hate video with 75,000 views okay makes sense well I do know that if you're searching it on Google it is absolutely different from the YouTube search if you go on Google Trends and you just type Gabby Hanna well actually look it, it pops up Curtis Lepore which we know that's actually uh, some drama so there is some drama there within the last uh, 12 months. Hmm, let's go worldwide. Yep, that's drama. Let's go YouTube search. Um, that, yep, there's still, there's still some drama there. So I don't know, I don't know what, sh what statistics she was looking at. I mean, if you go past seven days, um, you're still getting drama. Shadow banned Ashley Kyle, Ashley Kyle. Special Gabby Hanna, that's the rising stuff, top. Uh, there's some, you know, there's no drama there. So, I mean, just at face value, I, I think drama is almost uh, synonymously attached to her name within the, some of the things that have been of the recent years. That's just on my observation of doing this search live with you unscripted. So, uh, take that for what you will. Death Noodle's tweet goes on to say, Gabby continues to go off. She posted a long Instagram story calling out YouTube, then went live on YouTube and claimed once again that she's shadow banned. Here's her recent tweets where she makes the same claims. Why won't you let me end my live? I signed out, turned my phone off twice. I have a new live running from the same device. I privated, but it's live of a black screen. Is it because you don't want it to upload on my channel because of what I said in it? So instead of people seeing what I said in my live, all they see is a black screen. Is this why? Update, special music video was removed from a lot of people's watch history at YouTube. People who liked special today saying their likes were removed. My songs are removed from people's playlists. I'm now getting an influx of people saying their likes are removed from my vids in front of their eyes. They're unsubbed multiple times in front of their eyes and I'm removed from their watch history. Why are you trying to silence me so aggressively? So I don't really know if she's being shadow banned or not. There are some sketchy things here. I do know that there were some people that was trying to push false narratives against her. Um, that's not okay. As far as the shadow band thing, I'm going to be looking into it. I'm going to probably not do a full length video about this because I'm going to go in depth. As you know, the rep reports is just to update you on some things to do with these things. These things, little little bit of little bit of st the the story before we get into the story, if you will. But as always, I'm interested in what you think. Also, in the news. So this isn't going to be a long segment, but I did want to update from my most recent uh, Mika Stauffer video, the adoption uh, mishaps where she returned, rehomed her adopted son. I know you guys uh, are very interested in me updating on that. So what I have discovered is Spill put out a really, really, really good video, and this highlights some very, very, very important things. So it shows that she did all this research and knew all this stuff to do with uh, her adoptive son before adopting him. She w knew full well that it was going to be difficult. She knew full well of all the stuff that was gonna come with this and people warned her against it and she still did it. And let me show you. The level of humble, becoming more humble and the level of unconditional love that we're starting to develop for this little boy is just unbelievable and I love that because for us this new diagnosis didn't scare us if anything it kind of solidified that this is more our son than he has ever been and we don't care what's wrong with him she also spoke about being comfortable with different kinds of special needs what we wanted to do because we most likely knew we wanted a kiddo that was a special focus kiddo meaning that they had a medical condition or maybe they had a disease, or maybe they had a diagnosis that is unfavorable. Any of those things could be a possibility. So 
So what me and my husband did is we started talking to physicians, we started ta having meetings, we started doing tons of different things so that we could really figure out which conditions, which systems in the body we were comfortable with. So like I said, we sat down with tons of different physicians, we called different doctors, we chatted about different things we knew, just so that we could be really well educated on different conditions. So we came to a consensus that these are all of the conditions that we would be open to. So this kind of shows uh, contrary to her, uh, uh, her video that she released when she let the world know that she did rehome her adoptive son that when she said it, well it, it's been removed you can't go watch it anymore it's been removed but she said that she was not fully prepared that she didn't realize all of the special needs that there were going to be when now we see in the past that she not only knew but planned to do all this stuff so it just it adds to the just bad taste feeling that you get in your mouth but i just wanted to update you guys on this to see what your thoughts on that was because as interesting as this is there's always something that's more interesting to me that's right you guessed it i want to know what you think so why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and your interesting responses in the comment box below as always brothers and sisters i will see you in the next video the 44th episode of the rip reports is now complete um that's right greg it, it was a very successful rep reports. I had a very good birthday weekend. It's very good to see you guys. I got this mug, which you're gonna be seeing a lot of because it represents how I'm feeling the majority of the time. Ah, and this is stress relief tea. It is so good. It's organic. And the only thing that makes this situation better is positivity turtle. That is right, positivity turtle in the chat. I wanna see everybody. Uh, spam positivity turtle in the chat because we need it um chris hansen be more transparent man that's not a good move and i do not want to see you do this with the davi vanity investigation man uh there's so much there's so much but what do you guys think about this this is like the best merch piece that i've ever had there's actually another version of it that i didn't release publicly i might give it away because i am going to start doing live streams that's right repzilla live streams are coming back get ready i i used to do a lot of irl streams we've been doing live streams on uh facebook i actually did one it was very successful um probably gonna do some over there but i do want to do uh probably some studio live streams so i can get some guests and all these cool things so if you're interested in that let me know um, don't forget to subscribe with notifications turned on if you want to keep up with the, any of these updates or if you have any topics that you want me to cover let me know in the description below uh, reach out to me on Facebook because that's where you can get a hold of me because that's the place to be uh, Also, thank you to my patrons. That's right. That's right, Greg Greg said that the patrons of Repzilla are the greatest patrons of Repzilla and If you want to get the new merch shirt Link is in description. Remember I want you guys to color it with fabric markers You can tie dye it and I'm going to do a competition a giveaway for the the ones I like the most I'm going to promote them all across the social media It's going to be fun and it's just another way to show that you're repping if you're repping Greg and how you do that I get a subscribe notification turn on be in the comment section to every single video because I'm going to be there Greg The cat is going to be there and the rest of the Repsol community as well and I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you